communism lost, you know, communism lost. Good. Fascism right. won. Fascism no, won. Yeah, that's the bad part. Yeah. You know, when the uh, when the Berlin Wall came down, people didn't say, oh, look, capitalism works. No, they said, oh, mixed economy, you know, corporations and government working together. That's the answer. Um, so, yeah, that is all, such a shame. Because don't you yeah. think when the Berlin Wall came down, I mean, what an amazing event. Can you imagine even being there and, and seeing the bricks being torn down? And I know people that bought a, a brick of the, the Berlin Wall because they wanted it as, you know, a, a memory or a souvenir of like what what happened and what and how the world had changed in such a positive way. There was a wall that came down, a wall that you couldn't go. You couldn't go from one country to another because you were trapped there. And it came down. And what, what the lesson was mixed economy. It's horrible. Yeah, I mean, it so this is not about her personally, but about her ideas. And what I want to do is defend Ayn Rand because the rap on her is that she's a comic book figure. She's not a real philosopher. Her ideas amount to look out for number one. She is unaware of philosophical subtleties and simply writes novels. Now, she said a very interesting thing on the Phil Donahue show about that. Phil Donahue says to her on TV, they think you're crazy. And she said, no, they want you to think that. That's a really good way to put it. It shows the cleverness and incisiveness of her mind right there. They don't really think that she is not, not a real philosopher as they pretend. They're threatened by objectivism and they want to attack it in the most effective way they can. And this is the way. So this is, this is one of the um, great disputes that I end up in with people over this play is whether or not he's insecure, whether or not he's self-conscious. And my shorthand way of, of describing my perspective on it is that he is insecure that the world, he's, I don't even like putting it that way because I don't like saying he is insecure. I think of him as supremely secure, but what he's insecure about is that the world has the capacity to appreciate his nose. So I just see his nose as sort of being symbolic as, you know, you, I forget the word you first used to describe him, but he's, he's larger than life. He is grand. He is extravagant. He is, um, he's exaggerated. Every, the, his proportions as a man are, as a human being, as a soul are exaggerated. So the proportions of his nose are exaggerated too, but in <laughs> conventional, the conventional world, this is, thought of as unattractive. So he's conscious that other people will find this unattractive about him, but I think he thinks they're fools. The first is choosing something that's appropriate in time for your focus level. So that's why Les Mis is a great place to start. The chapters are so short, very digestible. You feel like you've accomplished something because you're not just pausing arbitrarily, you're making it to the end of the chapter. The next thing is being aware of what your goal is not approaching it for entertainment at the start or as if um, you're going to become a master reader like Lisa right away. The goal being being like um, honest with yourself and saying, I, I want to get better at this skill. So my first goal is just to make sure that if I get to the bottom of the page, I know what happened. I'm sure we've all had the experience where you start to lose focus and you, you read a few paragraphs and all of a sudden you're like, wait, what's happening here? And so using that as a self-reinforcing cue to say, oh, okay, I'm going to stop, start again, because I'm only doing a few pages here and really focus on retaining everything that I read. And then the last thing I started doing was um, using the other cue of, oh, am I checking my watch? Am I counting pages to remind myself that the joy of reading comes from the process, not from getting to the end, right? It's not fun to read cliff notes. Those are not enjoyable ways of consuming Hugo or Russ Stand or these wonderful stories. The, the enjoyment of the story is going through the process, through the stories. Mm -hmm.